Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a quick reading for all of our twin and twin twins. All right. So all of our twin flames, if you in any way at all identify as a DF divine feminine or a DM divine masculine, honey, then this reading is for Jewel. All right. Let us go ahead, y'all. Let us jump into this reading. Hold on. Put this instant where it belongs. Okay. And then we can go ahead and get into it hope that you guys are doing well and in the event you are not so i pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved all right let us go ahead y'all jump into it thank you spirit what are the mess oh we have cupid was just talking about this just just talking about this in the last reading right about cupid love is in the air when cupid's around all right Cupid is clearly around. Are you receptive to it though? Are you open to the fact that love is here? Okay. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Mm, trust and believe. <laughs> trust and believe. All right. So 1111. You understand? Oh. I feel like both the twins are getting the signs. Both the twins are filling the fills. Both the twins are getting it. Okay. So it says 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Okay, so emphasis on that harmony and balance. We've been talking about that a lot today, a lot today. Okay, so one is balancing out their logic and their emotions, hunty. Okay, hence why I put that meditation up in the community tab. So if you've been feeling really tired, if blue sounds tired or anything, this is why we're all going through the same thing. All right, so I feel it, you feel it, we get it, right? All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. Oh, okay. Commitment. And there's no getting away from it because you guys seen it. Okay, you seen it. This is what it's headed for. All right. It says commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. So you two are realizing, you know what? I really want a successful relationship with this person. I don't want this to end. You get what I'm saying? It's not something you want to end. It's not something that seems to be able to end is another thing that's going on here. Right. Um, because realistically speaking, it's not going to. Right. Um, and I think that's what someone is realizing. Like, okay, either I have to end this or I have to offer this commitment. So once again, the other party is looking at it like, okay, I have to be open. I have to be ready to receive what's coming in or what wants to come in. And if I'm not, then, you know, be like, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. If you ain't ready, you need to get ready. It's that type of thing. We have embrace here. Okay, so something about the embrace when you guys hold each other something's going to happen there okay so heart okay it says you begin to feel your heartbeat faster when you are close okay you know like these are the things that when you hear them you would think oh psh, bs unless you've actually experienced it a lot of people haven't so for them it's just as simple as oh that person is cute that person is cute. All right, let's be together. With Twin Flames, it's so much deeper than that. <laughs> it's so deeper. It's so... Okay. So, yeah, they could be the most attractive thing in the world to you, but it's deeper than that. You get what I'm saying? It's that type of energy. Um, so, when you hear these little corny things, quote, unquote, and you're like, oh, my God, the heartbeat faster. When you're a twin, you know because you feel it you felt it before you get what i'm saying so that type of energy yeah love is true love okay which once again not everybody gets to experience love yes but there are many different forms of love and everybody loves differently everybody receives love differently etc 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 god is love god takes many forms yes therefore so does love but with twins, it is just different. Okay, so let us see. It's that spark that we were talking about. That's, you don't really feel that all the time. Once again, the stuff that they talk about on TVs, movies, books, 
it shows and you're like oh bs no it's happening this is a deep spiritual connection yes yeah, a deep spiritual bond that cannot be broken no matter who no matter what no matter anything even if you want it to sometimes you get what i'm saying because <laughs> you're like oh fuck enough already you know what i mean <laughs> and team motherfucker like somebody called cut out this motherfucker <laughs> Somebody call God. <laughs> oh my God. Right? But it's real shit though. It is real shit. So it says, look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Okay? Your spiritual journey is beginning. Mm -hmm. In each of your relationships, you serve a purpose. Perhaps they're realizing what their purpose is with you and vice versa. A love bond grows stronger over time. Something happens, it doesn't break. You might bend, change a little bit. But you're flexible. The energy just moves around. It, it moves around. It doesn't stay still and stagnant and stuck. And it shows you what the relationship is like. And the true potential of that relationship. Hence this commitment card. Yeah, I'm going to go and sit outside, listen to these animals, close my eyes as soon as I finish this because they are talking right now and I got to go see what they are saying. All right, so let us see messages from your boo soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Okay. She said, I'll be waiting. <laughs> You're mysterious. They can't figure you out. You see how I threw the card down? That's how they feel about it. Like, hmm. Eyes squinted. Eyes on you. Hmm. Can't figure you out. Hmm. Feels like I can trust you, but I'm not sure. Hmm. You know that type of energy. And Spirit is like, yeah, man. Y yeah, man. <laughs> it's your mirror. That's the 11-11 energy. It's your mirror. <laughs> I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. They could ask. <laughs> they could ask. Yeah, because I'm leaving. They don't listen. Wherever they at, they leaving. Wind blew soon. <laughs> soon. They said they got to get their baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Yeah, right, start again with this one. You're so smart. They said they got to lock it down. They are leaving wherever they was at. And of course, we wouldn't want this. But this can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be a person. But it says you're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. <laughs> you're going to go to your auntie house. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. Okay yeah man sometimes they feel kind of unclear see right here i feel like because you're mysterious they don't know how they how they feel you get what i'm saying tears when i think about you i cry because i don't know how you feel i don't know if you love me i don't know if you don't i don't know if this is just something that's temporary and once you get whatever you want from it you're good i, I don't know what it is and so this is why they're like you're so smart you, you know what to do because I, I want your heart. That's what I want. So in order for me to get your heart the way that I'm asking for it in a way where you trust me with it, I'm going to have to commit myself to you. All right. So this is what we're seeing here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, playing games. They like, yeah, you're so smart. They was playing games and you wasn't off that shit. And now they're obsessed. You know what I'm saying? They was playing games. They thought it was a joke. You get what I'm saying? And you was like, okay, that's what we're not going to be doing. You get what I'm saying? And now they like you even more. <laughs> it's like, you're the right person, wrong time. 
have to get out of whatever that situation is they have going on because they're crying they're sad they feel lonely it says i think i'm obsessed with you right i think about you all the time stalk your socials and hope i run into you when i'm out okay so for those of you who are at a distance from this person person getting dressed up and shit for things like i tell you guys all the time go to the gas station why are you getting dressed up go to the gas station they ain't gonna run into you you don't even live there you know what i'm saying that type of thing like just because they're like praying the universe pulls you in pulls you their direction you get what i'm saying so the future see i daydream about our future together going on adventures and growing old together i want it all with the other line of energy of your mind so do you see what i'm saying okay <laughs> Someone who realizes, all right, this bond is deep, it's spiritual. This is, you know, more than maybe what they realized. Maybe even what they were looking for, to be honest with you. Okay. Might be triggering for some of you, but it's just true, right? It says, it's simple, really. How do I feel? I want you, us, forever. Okay? So that's what they want in their future. You are their future as far as they're concerned. They just, right now, in the moment, trying to figure out how to do what they need to do. Also says, focus on the money. Okay? So... Focus on money and nervous. You make them nervous and they're finding themselves. Also, you hurt them. So whatever has happened, whatever has transpired or taken place here, they feel like you have hurt them. You have caused them some pain. All right. And they are really sad about it. So the fact that, you know, this person wants to speak to you about certain things and doesn't. Um, hmm, I don't know. That goes back to the playing games energy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they've had games played with them so much that this is what they do to people, you know? Because hurt people hurt people, like I tell you. We have you're my favorite, but we see what they would like. So it's just a matter of them healing, right? They have to heal on a deep level, too. Because we see deeply, all right? They have to look and see what their purpose is within the relationships that they have going on right now. Once those contracts are fulfilled, yes, they can come towards you, but you make them nervous. So a lot of them are at a standstill because of it, Okay? We have here, have my kids. See, they be coming, have my kids in wild side. They be coming wild. <laughs> they be coming real wild for somebody that doesn't want to tell you all of this stuff that they're feeling. You get what I'm saying? But um, that's how they feel and they love you deeply. They want to be with you. They want a commitment with you. All right. They recognize this is a spiritual connection. All right. This is the twin flame card. As soon as I flip the deck, there it is. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Okay. Give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Aw. I'm loving it. All right. Let me see what we got going on. We got transformation, sacred union. Okay. I feel like them playing games is them acting like they're okay or them acting like nothing's wrong, but it really is. Because everything we see here is your mysterious tears, obsessed, you're so smart, have my kids, wild side. You're my favorite. It's simple, really. The future. You see, everything that they think about you is deep, is profound, is heartfelt. But the way that they move with the, the things that they do, you know what I'm saying? The way that they act sometimes or respond to certain things, it makes you feel like they don't. And it presents a very unclear message to you. And it's not the case. All right. So let us see. All right. So we have reflection. Yeah, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, because you are each other's person. I mean, you're going to take care of each other's heart the best, better than anybody can. So them being worried or nervous, maybe that's why. You get what I'm saying? They're nervous of how good you're going to love on them. I don't know. I don't know, child. They never had such good loving before. You know what you want me to say? You ain't nervous about the run. So it's like, you make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Just be yourself, boo. Just be you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to do the most. That's plenty right there. Just be you. Forgive, 
Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. This is true. Notice that. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. With that being said, I'm going to leave this reading here. Okay? And that is that. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, my beloved, <laughs> then give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. It says, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Mm-mm-mm.